So people are scratching their heads. Where's all this autism coming from? I thought autism was genetic. And if autism is genetic, it shouldn't quadruple in 20 years. Quadrupling in 20 years means something in the environment is causing it. To provide just one piece of evidence, if a woman has obesity, she has double the risk of having an autistic child. If a woman has both obesity and diabetes, she has quadruple the risk of having an autistic child. If a man is obese, he has double the risk of having an autistic child. So people are scratching their heads trying to figure out where is all this autism coming from? Well, look around in the population. Are the rates of obesity going up? Are the rates of diabetes going up? The answer is unequivocally yes. People with obesity have a metabolic or mitochondrial problem. There's more to food than just calories. It might be those chemicals in the food that you're eating or something else, or it might be chemicals in our environment. It might be pesticides or microplastics, the forever chemicals that are becoming more and more ubiquitous. All of these things disrupt metabolism and mitochondrial function. When I talk about obesity and diabetes, increasing risk for autism, it's not about fat shaming. It's about understanding that the parents have a metabolic problem already. That means that they have a problem in their cells with their mitochondria, and they then pass those on to their children. 